This is my bullet journal, and since I'm on the very last page, I thought I could make something cool with it. Let's get started. Hey, it's Acoustic Paint, I'm Elizabeth, and I really enjoy bullet journaling. I find it's a really, really helpful way for me to keep track of everything I need to do without the stress and anxiety of normal agendas when you skip a day and then it becomes useless at the end of the year because all the days are numbered for the previous year and then you can't use it again. Bullet journals don't have that problem, so I've been bullet journaling for almost nine, almost 10 months now, and it's been really, really helpful. Um, this is the Paluma bullet journal. It's pretty great. Uh, I just got it off Amazon, I think for about $8. Enough with that bullet journal for now. If you want, I can film a video in the future where I kind of show you my monthly, weekly, and daily setup for my bullet journal. So be sure to leave this video a like if you want me to do that. But today, I have this very last page I'm going to fill with a fun sketch for my birthday because I'm filming this on my birthday and I just want to do a fun video, a fun sketch, and see what happens. So let's get started. Not really sure what I've want to do. I kind of want to draw an alpaca. Alpacas are kind of smaller, fluffier, cuter, and less aggressive. And llamas are just like, yeah, the op basically the opposite. They're gigantic, they spit, they're a little bit rude, but they're also very protective of their herds. I actually think this is a llama. I just pulled up a reference photo and I think I am drawing a llama, not an alpaca, but that's okay. I'm just gonna stick to the llama. So one time when I was 10 years old, we were at a farm, me and my family, and I was feeding a llama and a goat came up wanting some food as well. But the llama got territorial of the food and I got caught in the crossfire and got covered in llama snot because the llama spit at the goat and I was in the way, but it was fun. I still kept feeding the uh, llama even after he was rude to the goat. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I might ink it using my new Posca pens. If you haven't seen the video where I tested and used the Posca pens, I will leave a link in the description or in the card somewhere where you can check it out. Maybe I should have sketched out the uh, mouth of the alpaca, but that's okay. But the great thing about drawing a scruffy llama is you don't have to be precise with the line art. Man, this, okay, this pen, I absolutely adore this pen. This is, everything goes on so smoothly. I've been using my Pentallic liners for years and I finally decided that I really don't like them because they're scratchy and the nibs wear out and I just, I don't like them. And this, even though technically it's a paint pen or paint marker, like it's so smooth, everything goes down. I'm not concerned about running out of ink because that's a big problem I have with the pentallic pens is that I'll do a stroke and then halfway through the stroke, the pen will just die and I'll have no ink to finish it. And it's just like, oh, that's great because I was focused and you know, in the groove. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Should I do an Emperor's New Groove theme for this? Cause it's a llama. For those of you who've seen Emperor's New Groove, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't seen Emperor's New Groove, what are you doing? Go watch it. Okay, so I have a plan. I was looking up Emperor's New Groove stuff and there's a poster from IMDb where it's basically Cusco in the very front with a white background. And it says, it's all about me in big letters in the back. I'm gonna put that in the background. It'll be interesting to see how the Posca pens react to water and also how this bullet journal paper reacts to water. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, so I'm learning a couple of things from this. One, watercolor does not work on this bullet journal. Uh, it kind of looks really gross. <laughs> so bad, this looks so bad. What am I even doing here? This looks so bad. It's fine, it's fine. Let's keep a positive attitude. Positive attitude. And I'm gonna have some trouble getting contrast here between the me and the alpaca, because I keep saying alpaca. It's not an alpaca, it's a llama. I will say, the nice thing about painting on a bullet journal is that you've got the little dots to measure everything out. And these Posca pens are taking a beating right now. I'm just soaking everything on this page in water. Even though the paper is crumbling as we speak, the Posca pens are still holding up, and I really, really appreciate that. I actually am really liking this. I don't like the color, but 
I'm still focused on how happy I am with the Posca pens and the llama illustration. And then I wonder if Posca will work on top of this watercolor. Oh, hey, it does. Cool. Dot, dot, dot. It's all about me. And then I'm just gonna touch up this a little bit. Honestly, this needed to be on watercolor paper. This would look so much better if it were just on watercolor paper. So I'm gonna let this dry completely and I will wrap up the video with you guys when that's all done. All right, hello, hello. My piece is completely dry and I'm in the middle of editing, so I thought I would give you an update. I think it looks really, really nice, even though the paper's a little bit warped. But anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted every time we post a new video. Comment down below your thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions for future videos, anything like that. And have a fabulous day. Bye!